Uh, what we've got next here is um, adding controllers or just getting the, the face to animate. And the way we're going to do that, well, we're going to do it using uh, blend shapes. Uh, we've got the jaw moving, and that will, once we bind the skin to the mesh and the rig, um, bind the mesh to the rig and the skeleton, um, it will, this will automatically move the jaw around. Uh, it doesn't create smiles, though. It doesn't create frowns on the mouth. It doesn't create any of those phonemes that you need for lip sync. Um, so you need to do that manually. Um, there are ways to do it. We've already covered how to sort of create a controller attached to a joint, um, whether it's using dr uh, set driven keys or um, constraints. So with the eyes, we used an aim constraint. With the um, arm and the rest of the upper body, we used an orient constraint. For the root, we just parented, and that's the only one you would do that to. And for the knees, we used a pole vector constraint. So we've covered a lot. Um, now, other things to keep in mind is that blend shapes are a, this is just a different way. We could create a whole bunch of joints in here with controllers, but we've done that already. So let's try something different by um, creating blend shapes. So under the animation tab, with your mesh selected that you're going to add blend, blend shapes to, go anime, deform, animation, deformation, blend shape, and then hit the settings box and set it to be, in this case, facial expressions. And then everything else is fine, and just go ahead and hit create. And you'll get this little uh, input here. Now. So now what I want to do is I want to start to create some of these. So how do I do that? Um, I'm going to duplicate one. I'm going to du duplicate the face. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and adjust the eyebrow in this case. And I'm just going to use some basic tools. Um, in this case, I'm using the soft select tool. And I want to make sure that I'm not moving anything on the um, actual eyebrow itself. So on the uh, eyelid, I meant on the eyelid itself. So I'll start here, just sort of manipulating this to go up. And one of the cool features about this is you get full control of how you want it to uh, def deform. So it's really cool in that aspect. Um, and you're going to get texture stretching and if your you know, texture is not really high res and whatnot. Um, that's just the name of the game. Um, and you get that same thing with joints in here too. So it's not a matter of, oh, I want to use blend shapes. No, it's, it's if you, no matter how you deform your mesh, it's going to deform the actual uh, texture itself. So you see a lot of that texture stretching here, which is up why unwrapping your UVs is extremely important to get right. So um, I've got it up to this point. One of the things I'll show you is um, you can do some cool things here. Um, edit mesh and mesh tools sculpting tools and you can start to try to do some sculpting on it and go ahead and uh, I don't want any mirroring on so I'm going to bring this down just holding B to adjust my brush size and you can see I can start to sort of manipulate this a little bit better um, a little bit smoother and you can get some really cool results but um, kinda like it like this um, they also have like the smooth tool and relax tool and the grab tool and the pinch tool and all these other tools um, so anyway 
Um, now that I've got some type of deformation happening um, on my blend shape on here, I want to add it over here. So how do I do that? Well, I select my mesh. And I want to make sure I name it. It makes it much easier later. So I'll just do uh, L outer brow up. And then I'll go ahead and hit return. And now I'll shift select the original uh, mesh where I'm going to add it to my facial expressions. And I'm going to do that by going back to my animation tab under animation def anim, anim deform, it's called, uh, blend shape, add. And now, if I select here, you'll see my controller is right here at the moment. Um, we want to go ahead and add that somewhere else, but you see it animates it right there, right on the spot. So it's really neat. Um, now, I'll do one more, and then I'll connect it uh, using the way I'm going to in a second. I'll show you. Uh, so here, I'm going to leave this down, and I'm going to hit Command D, and drag one over. And I'll go L, outer, brow, down. Select my vertices. I can turn on my soft select or not. Um, go ahead and just drag it down a little bit. And you could even try a, an average vert or something. Drag them out. You can mess around with you know however you want it to look. I'm not going for anything super complicated, so I've got one going up, one going down. And I'll select my mesh, shift select this. And I hope this doesn't work right so I can show you. I'm going to go add, and it did. OK, but I'm going to undo that. If I select this, the blend shape I want to add, and I do the same exact thing I just did, and you get an error down here, go to uh, animation def deform, blend shape, add and hit the little checkbox and then just make sure you hit specify node and then hit apply and close so now no matter what you've specified you want it to be here so I've got down and I've got up so now you, what you can do with, with this is you can do the same thing with the finger controls if you want to do it that way I prefer doing it this way it's just I like having controls I don't like having to move around too much when I'm animating. I like my controls to be set and where I can see the, my mesh deforming. So modify, add attribute, and this will be L outer brow. And it depends on how you want to go about this. Um, you could even do a displayable name first and do facial expressions, and then do zero, zero hit add and then here we'll go L outer and we do this in camelback actually L outer brow and I'm just gonna set my minimum to negative one and my maximum to one at the moment and then I'll hit close so now I've got this it doesn't do anything yet so I'm gonna want the positive one maximum to be negative one or excuse me I'm sorry uh, the positive one to bring the eyebrow up and the negative one to bring the eyebrow down. So when it's positive, it goes up. When it's negative, it goes down. So now, with that, what I can do is, the only way I can do this to put both controls, or both blend shape controls, basically here, blend shape nodes connected to this, is I have to do a set driven key. Um, not too difficult. So this will be my driver. And the one thing that is difficult about it is actually figuring out, you can't just select here on your mesh because you need this input. So you need to go to your Windows Hypergraph Connections and select the actual blend shape. And now you'll see the blend shape node here in your Window Hypergraph Connections. And you'll reload driven, and it'll pop up here. That's the trickiest part. Um, we've already done. Uh, how to um, do set driven keys, but let's go ahead and do one together. So L outer brow on up and down, key, key. Now when my 
L outer brow is at 1, I want this to be at 1. And I'm going to hit key. And now when my brow is at negative 1, I want this to be at 1. And then I'll hit key. And then for now, I've got negative 1, positive 1, and 0 is my default. So you can see that work like that. Um, again, any blend shape you want to add, you just go ahead and do it that way. Um, and then you can add your controllers to the head controller. So um, that's all there really is to adding blend shapes. And if um, you can use the connection editor too if you want to do it that way and have L outer brow up, use the Windows uh, connection editor. Um, and you could do it that way as well. Settings, uh, general editors, connection editor. So now that that's all complete, um, we're pretty much ready to go. And uh, once you get all of your blend shapes on there, it's ready to be animated. So, um, or it's ready to be skinned. So you can follow this process throughout the entire thing. Um, to get all your blend shapes in there. I have uh, an older one here that should still work. I don't know if I opened up the uh, MA file or not because I, I, I've created this original uh, rig here in 2015 and if you open it up as a my binary file in 2016 it breaks some of the controls so I found out if you open it up as an MA uh, nothing breaks and it works perfectly fine. But um, I'm going to run through and see, check these. So I set crazy extremes on this. Um, would I ever have them set to be that crazy extreme? Probably not. Uh, I just, instead of having a minimum maximum of negative 1 and positive 1, I set it to negative 2 and positive 2 in case I wanted a little bit more extreme. So um, you get that little extra uh, ability here. So I'm just adding some yeah. animation to him. So I got him squinting and doing some weird kind of look here. And I've got tons of blend shapes. So if I were to go through and show you all the blend shapes added for this particular character, um, you can see there's a quite a few. So to get all the facial movements you want, you'd have to go through and do that for each one. Um, and then you'll have a very large, got the smile. Um, let's bring down the smile. Ooh. And let's bring down the frown. Let's keep that one up. Bring this one down. Get a snarl in there. Um, got some phonemes. Uh, so yeah, you can pretty much just bring his forehead up or down a little bit. Stretch his eyes out slightly. <laughs> or squint them. Either or. Uh, let's get his nostril flaring a little bit. And you would need a separate blend shape for each one of these. So, um, I've got, I even did the tongue with blend shapes. I could have done it differently, but. At the moment, it was just a little bit easier to do it this way. So that's a little wonky. <coughs> oh. But anyway, you get the idea. Um, generally, I don't, I, I usually only use the tongue out for 
something or tongue up or whatever for uh, lip sync with like L um, lip sync. So anyway, that covers all of the basics on um, adding blend shapes right here. It's the same exact way you set it up over here. Uh, you just need m a lot more controls to get all of that uh, additional features. So um, that's blend shapes and uh, hope you enjoyed watching.